Oh, I forgot to change the lower third. Let me fix that. Yes. Uh, howdy. Howdy's um, nuts. Uh, yes. Correct. Um, I wonder if this works. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, hi. Mm. Um... So, listen, I know Next Fest is technically over, right? It's done. There's there's no more Next Fest. But there's still demos, and there's a couple that I wanted to play tonight. Uh, one that I actually found out about today that... Hey, look, the colors work. Um, <clears throat> one that I actually found out about today uh, that I'm pretty... Uh, pretty excited to try out and see um, and the developer may actually be able to stop by in just a little bit and talk with us about it so we'll see how that goes in fact they could already be here I mean maybe um, I don't know but we'll get to that one later um, but first we have some stuff I want to do um, so we've got the two demos um, but I also have um uh, uh, what the hell is it? I have some stuff I want to show you that I got recently that I'm very excited about. Uh, so I guess we could probably just get into, like, the stuff. Alright, so, um, we talked about this quite a while back, but someone, someone sent me something a while back. Okay. Huh. This is, this has been... Well what? Actually, no one sent you that. No, no one sent me that, huh? No, someone bought that for you, and the calls were coming from inside the house. Uh-huh. Anyway, so I have this Tron identity disc that is signed by Bruce Box Lightner, like Tron himself, right? And I've had this for a while, and, like, I, I keep it inside the box that it got shipped in, because, like, I just, I can't, I can't bear to take it out of the box, right? No, you can't bear. That's right. <laughs> However, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, Bean and I went to Disney. I rode the Tron roller coaster. So they had been building this coaster for a few years, and like it's very much a, uh, a reproduction of the one that's at Shanghai Disneyland. And like I was, you know, I was really sad because you know Shanghai had one we didn't then they started building ours and i'm like okay but then there was like a an element of disbelief right like i'm like this isn't this doesn't exist until until i have ridden it and i'm in the gift shop right because that's the thing like it's a it's a it's a theme park ride like you ride the ride you go through they dump you out in the gift shop that's how it works um so i'm like this is not real this doesn't exist to me until i've ridden the thing and had end up in the th in the uh, the gift shop. So, um, the Tron roll here. I'll I'll just kill the intro music. So the Tron roller coaster has what they call a virtual queue. Basically, the way this works is you open the app, the Disney World app, when you get to the park, and you have a chance at 7 a.m. and not a minute later, and you have a chance at 1 p.m. and not a minute later because it fills up fast but you can reserve a spot in line to go ride the coaster. And then you have all of this time that you have to wait for your spot in line to get called so that you can go get in the physical line and then wait to just go through, right? But you can't get scanned into the regular line until you're one of the groups that's being called. So, um, and that's part of why I felt like I've been feeling like shit off and on for the last couple of weeks is because, uh, I got in the virtual queue. I actually got into the 1 p.m. one, which I didn't think there was going to be any time to get into. And um, I still had to stand around for like an hour and a half in a line, uh, which is just absolutely fucking mind-boggling. But I did end up for a good chunk of that um, next to this really fun Scottish family. So that was cool. Um None of them were quite one Louis tall, though. So, mm. <clears throat> but anyway, I got to ride the Tron roller coaster finally. Let me see if I can find the picture. Um, 
Where is it? Okay, but I have my own image in my head of this. Oh no, you don't you don't get you don't get to have an image in your head. I'm sorry. Well, too bad. <laughs> your compliance is there. not really a factor in this. <laughs> Let's see. The image before you actually show it. Uh-huh. Is you making the same face as Ron Burgundy at the breakfast buffet in the strip club. That's not entirely false. That's not entirely inaccurate. Um, by the way, I'm sorry, everyone. Hello. Uh, I, I didn't say hello to everyone. Hi to Warder and CKY and Gadget and Tay. I know you're lurking, bud. Um, appreciate you. Um, hello. Uh, so I'm looking for the picture. Uh, God, I'm, I'm having to go all, scroll way the fuck back because I didn't save it anywhere yet. It's in, like, me and Bean's conversation history. Um... There's that. There's those pictures. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let me show the one picture of us in. So here's a picture of me and Bean uh, actually in front of it. So this is the Tron coaster. This is actually like, so you you walk up this way and you go in and you come like the first part of the coaster actually takes you and shoots you outside around this loop here, um, and you can see the you can see the track here that brings you around. So like it's a very fluid ride, but like I walked up here and like you walk and it's 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 often in its own little section kind of cuz you know it's it's the newest thing there and everything else has been there for fucking 40 years um give or take so i walk back there and like just suddenly being immersed in like tron legacy soundtrack and shit was just like that was extremely overwhelming for me but also look how cute the bean um but anyway um also hi miss Allie beth uh let me go back but are you ready to see me as speed? I am speed. I am speed. That's that's me on the roller coaster. Now here's the fun part. <laughs> he whoosh. So it looks kind of like a light cycle. The other seats are actually light cycles, and they have this whole restraining system that's meant to like lock you in, right? So there's like this whole system where like you get on the light cycle, you lean forward, you pull the handlebars towards you and it pulls like it does this locking mechanism where it secures your back. But there's also these bars that come up and lock on your legs like over your calves. My calves were too thick. I wasn't too fat, which is usually the case in these kind of things. No, no. My calves, my big fucking muscular soccer player calves were too thick for the bar to actually go over. So they had to sit me in the back in like the normal seat one at the very back. But I don't care. I got to ride the Tron roller coaster. Also, there you go, Tom. There's there it is. Whoosh. I, whoosh. That is that is whoosh. That's but also new. Also, yes. Did you say kachow? Uh I did not say kachow, no. Um I said Kachow um, a few weeks, or yeah, a few weeks earlier when we were at um, the Art of Animation Hotel, and they have like a little car section, and you could see Lightning McQueen. So I said Kachow there because that's where it was appropriate. Anyway, this is me riding the Tron roller coaster, which was one of my greatest achievements in life. So it, the fun part is, like I said, uh, it's not real until. Like, I'm in the gift shop, right? So, I went to the gift shop, and I could not buy this. But they had this, which is, um, well, you know, the original Tron. Like, it was, like, there was an arcade game and all that stuff. 
And uh, they have a wall sign that is that's designed to look like the Tron arcade game marquee. So I'm going to put this up in here somewhere. I have no idea where yet. Ceiling? But maybe, yeah. Just hang it right there. And, but yeah, uh, I have a Tron wall marquee sign, which super excited to, uh, to have this up somewhere, which I'm really... Yeah. Maybe you don't even like Tron. Yeah, it's true. I don't even like Tron. So I thought that would be really cool to go with my identity disc, which I think I may like end up hanging on the wall like above it, and, like mounting on the wall above it. So I have like the Tron sign and then the identity disc above, which I think would be really cool. Um, so that's that. Okay. So I got something else um, in the mail. It's a shame because, like, I know Brian's streaming right now, so he's not, he's, he won't see this until the VOD. But this is something that when, it was like, was it like a week ago or something, like, Brian said something, and I'm like, God damn you, Brian. This is, this is Brian's fault. Uh, I have not opened this yet, so we're gonna, we're just gonna open this here. Because I want to. I want to show everybody what I got. Um, cod piece? Almost. Lego cod piece? So close. Oh my god. It's an Oscar Mayer controller. Oh my god. It's an Oscar Mayer hot dog controller. Uh, so, Hyperkin. It sure is. Yeah, Hyperkin makes this. Um... They made, they actually, uh, that I know of, there's three in the series. So there's the hot dog one, the Oscar Mayer hot dog one. There's one that's a, um, uh, a sriracha one, like the sriracha bottle and the chicken and everything on it. And then there's one that's actually branded like classics, uh, old school Kool-Aid. So this is their pixel art. Uh, limited the edition has series. A first name. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so here you can see, like, there's the there's a Heinz. Oh, that's right. There's a Heinz one too. There's a Kraft mac and cheese. I forgot about this. But then there's like the the Kool Aid one. The oh yeah, it's Kraft dinner. Yeah. Well, no, it's 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 Kraft it's Kraft mac and cheese because we're in America. But anyway, no, I'm not. I moved. Oh, I don't think you moved from America, buddy. I think, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm pretty Triple sure you're Canadian now. I don't think you are. Hey, hey, focus down here. Thank you. All right, it's fine. Hockey It'll moose be. syrup. Moose syrup. Hockey moose syrup. Moose syrup. The hockey part's very important. Oh, I see. Let's see. I love plastic money and. All of my milk is drank out of a bag, so. Okay, S settle down, Zam. Uh, let's see. God, I just thought of something terrifying for the rest of the world. Two of the most infamous Canadians that you and I personally know, Tom, mm -hmm. but their powers combined to form Jason Zam. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Jason Lamb had posted a thing that I told myself I was going to read later, like an idiot. Let's see. We both know that wasn't going to happen. In the... Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's more little stickies on the side. Oh, because it opens like that. Wait, does it, op does it open like in a, dis like in a display style? Because that'd be pretty cool. Is it the work thing of his he was talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Poor Jason Lamb and his dealing with idiots at work. I thought that's what you're supposed to do at work. Bun fact, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile was first created in 1936. That's a that's a bun fact. That's a that's a bun fact. Bun fact. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh so Wieners, taste your victory. Oscar Mayer x Hyperkin. 
All right. And there it is. There it is in all of its beautiful glory. Now, this is actually a Bluetooth controller, so I can use this with pretty much anything. Um, so, ooh, it's like, it's it's translucent, too. So you can see the, the circuitries and stuffs. So that's they, what hot dogs look like on the inside. Uh-huh. But now we know how it's made. And now you know how it's made. Anyway, so this is my uh this is my Oscar Mayer hot dog controller. Um is it a great controller? I don't know. I mean it's hyperkin, so it'll be decent at least. I mean it will control the things. It will. It will. Um but this this feels very much like a like a Super NES controller, like with thumbsticks, you know? Like it's just it's very much that. And then there's little like indicator lights on it, it looks like, and we'll charge you a jig on it and we'll I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure there's an instruction manual underneath here somewhere, but anyway, I but will it blend? I don't know, maybe. I mean I got hot I got regular Oscar Mayer wieners downstairs that I can just <laughs> put in a blender if I want to. How's it taste, motherfucker? But anyway, this is my uh this is my new moat. I love my new moat. It's a good friend. And, uh, God damn you, Brian. This is all Brian's fault. Looks like a noisy cricket. Yeah, right? The fucking noisy cricket. That's a good one. I feel like I'm about to break this damn thing. <laughs> anyway, um, so, tonight, as far as demos go, there are two that I want to play. The first one, let's go find, well, let me get the link. I can get the link with the, for this now. Is this, I wonder if this works. Does this work Steam? Steam, there we go. The first one is Crypt Custodian. Does it work? Yeah. So there's no price oh, on it. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm demoing these uh, Reese's Animal Crackers into my face. Nice. That's not really demoing. I mean, unless you mean demolishing. Yes. That's, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> so uh, so this actually, the Steam command is something that's built into Firebot. Uh, I just haven't had it enabled, but we had a thing that we recently added to it to where when you use the command, it would just grab whatever the first region or um, like currency that it could find for a game. It doesn't do that anymore. You can now specify what you want your default currency to be. So for mine, it's US dollars. If someone is like euros, they can do EUR for euros or like in the UK, they can do GBP for pounds, whatever. So this will give you like whatever the localized version of that is. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, so you can, I can do Steam and the name of the game. There's a link to it. Um, so this is going to be really cute. Uh, but Crypt Custodian is a charming Metroidvania about cleaning up the afterlife. Play as Pluto, a mischievous cat who has died and is sentenced to be the afterworld's janitor forever. Hang out with other doomed ghosts, battle beasts, and explore a vastly expansive landscape. Like it's a cat with like macabre, funny sh like setting and also Metroidvania. And also it's a cat. So, I want to play Crypt Custodian, and then... Okay, what? but you don't even like cats. You I know. You get a Catroidvania? Yes, it's a... Yes. It's, a, it's, a, it's actually a Meowtroidvania, thank you. Um, mm. Uh-huh. Mm. You're welcome. Yeah, he got you there. Yeah, uh-huh. He did. He, he outmaneuvered you. <laughs> Why is it unknown? Do we need to add a look at that? No, it's unknown. Buddy, it's unknown because they don't have a price on it yet, and... There's no, because there, there's, because there's not, it's unreleased. It's just a demo. It's, it's unreleased. Yeah. If but I do. Unreleased games typically have no price. Yeah. If I do. Not for sale. If oh, this helps. It's, it's not the, it's not the API. It's, it's the thing. See, there's Stardew, 15 bucks, little man. Um, put that shit <laughs> in my hand. Anyway. Uh, so there's Crypt Custodian. Uh, that's the first one we are going to play tonight. Listen, trust me. I know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know. Um, all right. Question about that? Yeah. While I'm thinking about it. Yeah. 
think I was to um, find on Steam one of them adult games. Okay. Will Will that link it? I mean, it'll technically link it, yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. But don't do it. <laughs> don't make me take away this permission the second I grant it to you. I'm not going to do it. Uh-huh. I'm bringing it up because I'm wondering if you guys should put in an option to restrict that. I mean, I don't know that we, that's, I mean, listen, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a reasonable point to bring up. That's, but I mean, it's very, but it's extremely you that's, to be the one that brings it up. That's, that's all. That, no, no, that's, that's extremely him here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to do this again. Cause I just changed the, uh, the thing on it. So, oh, look at that. I'm saying? Look at that. Ooh. All right, we're going to pin this for a little bit. And... That's hot. Yeah, so we're going to leave that pin for a little while. You know, so you could just add a filter. I mean, we probably, but again, one, it's as you as the streamer, it is your your duty to protect that com- to the commands in your channel. <laughs> okay. You said duty. So, second, if it really is a thing that people want to add, they can put in a feature request. Anyway, there's the, I've, it's easy to use the like, well, yeah. Uh, there's the, there's the, the link to the game. I've got it pinned. So I'm going to go ahead and fire it up and we're going to play Crypt Custodian, which I'm very excited about. I'm just saying, about. I could have done it and then said QA'd and walked away. Grab a controller and waddle, waddle. I love the little like I know I can turn it off, but I love the thing that's like, hey, get a controller. I'm like, oh, I love a controller. They say that as if you aren't already holding one. Right? Like I I got another controller. Controller, that's what he nicknames his penis. Oh my god. It is? A game there by Kyle is. Thompson with music by Eric Thompson. What was I wonder the, if they're related? What was the name of the uh what's the name of the guys that made Homestar Runner the Brothers Chaps or something? I forget. I don't know. Oh, that's what that sound was. So the first time I heard that the game make that sound, I thought you had added a sound effect that was like a like a little spray bottle, and you were spraying lolly with it. Oh, N- no! But I should. That sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I used to see. That's why I thought. That's fair. I love that screen flash and shake are items that you can turn off. That's a good start. Love the accessibility settings. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. You're an accessibility setting. I'll access your ability. Oh, it lets you pick a, a difficulty, and you can change it at any time from the pause menu, which is nice. Nice, nice. I love that it also explains what difficulty actually means in this game. So this one says difficulty modes affect boss and enemy reaction times and attack patterns and also determine the time permitted in timed challenges. That's nice. So it doesn't necessarily give them less health, it just makes them maybe slower and not as good to respond. Uh, that's a that's a kitty. <laughs> Meow and such. That's a, that's a... Well, I guess we have to start with killing the cat, don't we? It's Cato. It's true. Tom needs the spray bottle more than Lana. No, no, Warder. They, they both need it roughly equal amounts. Yeah, I'm a degenerate. I could probably stand to use it more than Tom. Yeah, yeah, but you. Wait, you are you need, saying I'm not a degenerate? You need it. Okay, Lolly, you need it for like degen reasons. Tom needs it for like, hey, stop doing that. Hello. Oh my God, the purr. 
I am a sucker for a good purr. Like a, the purr purr of a kitten's cat, perhaps? Yes. That one specifically. My name is Pip, and I we knew one like that. <laughs> My name is Pip, and I will be your guide to the palace. <laughs> My name's Philip, but everybody calls me Pip because they hate me. <laughs> that was a deep <laughs> cut. <laughs> Wait, what? The palace? I was literally just outside on the street. Where am I? Oh, well, the palace is the most beautiful part of the afterlife, but we aren't there yet. And this is just the entryway. It's where all the new ghosts first land. Ghosts? So I'm dead? Oh. Well, yeah. Sorry, I should have led with that part. Well, don't worry too much about that just yet. <laughs> Zoinks! Yeah! <laughs> well, he would want to get in, think getting sprayed is fun. Yes, he would. Especially right in his face. Don't worry too much about that just yet. We have to get moving. Nearby is Kendra. She is the guardian of the afterlife. Fun. I just said I'm probably the one that's most deserving of it. Uh-huh. You'll have to make your way to her chambers, and she will listen to your life story and determine whether or not you can enter the palace. I love that it always does the palace in, like, the fancy rainbow letters. It gives it vibes of, like, um... Uh, what's the name of the king from Katamari Damacy? Like, the king of all cosmos? It gives, like, that kind of energy to me. And bad ghosts are banished to live outside the palace for all eternity. Come on, you should get going. Okay. We. Ooh, okay, a little, little stamina dodge. All right. I'm so happy to see another cat come in here. I mean, in spite of the circumstances, at least. Most of the ghosts who come in here are bugs, which doesn't really give us much to talk about. Huh, all right. See what we got here. All right, we got a little. Yes, this little... is absolutely nothing like I thought this was going to be when you told me the title. No, I didn't think it would be. I just got Graveyard Keeper in my head, and that was Oof. it. It was just going. It was going to be Graveyard Keeper with a cat. You know, I still haven't played Graveyard Keeper. That's yet another thing on my list. Oh, look, I can jump. 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 the list you got there, pal. Boy, howdy, you're not kidding. Jump. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving platform, jump. Jump. View the map. Okay. I did that already, because I... Ooh, stats, pictures. Oh, neat! Gameplay options. Ooh, I can turn on a mini-map? Fuck, I love a mini-map! Alright, so what's it like inside the palace? Oh, well, I'm actually not sure. I've never been inside there. You haven't? Were you bad or something? I guess I must have been, because Kendra said so. But instead of banishing me to outside the palace, she sends me to be a guide for all eternity. You see, Kendra can be very strict, but also very fair. She makes the rules and she always sticks to them, no matter what. And this Kendra sounds like a real piece of fucking work, whose face I'm going to have to kick in. But don't worry too much about all that. I'm sure she will let you into the palace. She's bound to let someone in there one of these days. Alright, so Kendra's an asshole. She could just be misunderstood. Okay. <gasps> I got a broom! You found a broom. Swing it by pressing X. Incredible. Well, that tracks, since you're a janitor. Well, I don't know that I'm a janitor yet. And... It literally was in the game description. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but the cat doesn't know that yet. Don't tell the cat. He doesn't know. What if he's very sensitive about it? And... Well, <laughs> them the brakes. Yep. I also have like some weird pot thing up there, which makes me think there's like a combo attack or some shit. And... Looks like mana. Or something, yeah. But that could just be because it's blue. Well, we do love a good blue around here. 
Actually, what's really funny I'm afraid is... I just blew myself. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny is, uh, Lolly was here, uh, he stopped by last Wednesday, so we went to dinner together, and Sydney was here, uh, cause she and Bean had just gotten their nails did, and, uh, okay, you bonk, perfect, perfect. Ice beer sold cold. No, war. That's no. That's that's just very American of you. Um. Maybe I have Coors Light and I don't know it. I don't know. Uh. But anyway, so Sydney was here and Lolly has been looking to um change their vehicle situation and one of the vehicles that he's been looking at has been the Honda HRV, which Sydney recently just got one. And oh, it's even. And it's even in the blue that he was he really likes. So he was like, "Hey, could you ask Sydney how she likes the car? Because that's that's kind of the one that I want." And I'm like, "Sure, bud." <laughs> but like, in fairness, the blue that it is is like a very good blue. It's basically like the blue that I would like if I were to get a, a blue car. I say all that to say we blew like blue. Blew my mind to see that car. Uh huh. All right. I think I'm coming up to the. I must be coming up. Oh yeah, here we go. Well, that's a weirdly shaped entrance. Hey, you made it! Kendra's chamber is right inside here. Just be on your best behavior because you really don't want to be on her bad side. You don't even drink beer? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, neither do I, so... Um... Cool. Fix the chat connection. Something's not right. Wait a minute. Oh, come on, man. Don't fucking do this shit to me. in the actual fuck is happening right now. I don't know. My shit is freaking out. Hold on. Alright. Pardon me while I restart my bot. It was Pardon me while I whip this out. I haven't watched that in a little bit, and actually, I think the last time I watched it was when I was telling you about it. And no, water. I'm on. I'm on a dev version. Water. You can probably always just assume that I'm running something slightly different than what's out, even in beta. I'm just restarting the bot real quick, just so it gets. But it behaves better. No, that's fair. No, I'm the one who I'm the one who wrote the uh, the event sub connection stuff. So nobody else knows how it works except me. Mostly because they haven't they just haven't looked at it. No, this is different, CKY. This is actually stuff. I took out some stuff. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a minute to do its thing. All right, uh, just be on your best behavior because you really don't want to be on our bad side. Okay. Good luck in there. this. It's so nice to see another fresh face around here. I am the famous Kendra, guardian of the afterlife. I don't trust you. It's my job to determine whether you've been good or bad. Oh, and sorry that you died and all that, by the way. That just makes me so sad. This over here is the door that leads to the palace. Those allowed in the palace experience never-ending bliss. If you've been good, I'll let you inside. And this door leads outside of the palace. You really do not want to be sent out this door. Well, enough chit chat. Let's take a look at your life. Jesus Christ. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's the book of my life. Aw, this says you were born as a stray and you had a brother and a sister. Hey, listen, not to bring down the room, but sometimes, because Loaf is a street kitty, I wonder what kind of little family she had and if there are more tiny loafs out there. So cute. And then, it seems like you were adopted by a nice couple and they took really good care of you. You love to play and get pet. Wow, oh, I'm having a really good feeling about this one. Pip, can you please prepare the palace door for opening? Anyways, let's continue. And then one night, it seems like you escaped from your home, ran onto the street, and... You poor thing. Well, I guess that settles it, then. You are a very good cat. I have no choice but to let you into the palace. Or, hmm, wait a second. There it goes. There seems to be another page. Uh-oh. I don't this, like the cut of that other page's jib. This says that after you died, you landed here in the palace anyway, and you smashed some of my statues? <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking ah, knew it. Dumbass. <laughs> this is just awful. I'm afraid that you've been a very bad cat. And as punishment, you will be banished to outside of the palace for eternity. <laughs> Wait! I didn't mean to do it. I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. Hmm, you thought you were supposed to break my statues? Sorry, that excuse is not gonna cut it. I do feel bad for you, though. If you think this sucks for you, just think about how I feel. I'm the one who has to live with the guilt of sentencing you to eternal torture. This is really bumming me out. <laughs> well, enough wallowing. It's time to go. Oh, and because you created such a mess, I'm also sentencing you to be the afterlife's janitor forever. So hold on to that broom. Now it's time to leave. Please exit on the door on your left. Absolutely wrecked. Sorry you didn't make it to the palace. I really thought you could do it. You know what? Fuck you. I'm smashing the rest of your stuff. You fucking wrecked. Can I reach that from here? No, but I'm gonna try anyway. Is there anything I can do? I really don't want to be doomed forever. Sorry, little guy. That's just the way this works. Plus, if I just let you into the palace, that would be totally unfair to all the other ghosts I doomed. Wow. I want to kick this fucker's ass. Just absolutely kick their shit in. I mean, you broke all their stuff. What, were you, what, you what was I supposed to do? Not break the stuff. Seems pretty cut and dry here. You're pretty cut and dry. Oh my god. Am I collecting, like, just garbage off the ground? Is that... Look, I'm not the one trying to get into the Eternity Castle, okay? Order? It's... Huh? Alright? It's the palace, first of all. 
Jesus, you fucking cretin. I'd never seen a palace before. Guy no, wouldn't have majesty if it came up and bit him in the face. <laughs> Is there a... There's not like a... There's not like a windowed full screen and... I'm not into that. Get out of here, you little shit. And... Yeah, but I shouldn't I shouldn't need an add-on for that order. It's 2024. Like every single fucking game engine on the planet offers a borderless option as part of the engine. Like I know there are solutions for it, but I'm not going to do that. The Weeping Wastes. What is this? Ooh, okay. I can save here. I can equip stuff if I have it. And I can teleport to other teleporty majigs. Okay. This isn't bad, this isn't bad. I need a key for that door. Oh no. Oh yeah. Ow. Little bastard. He hit me. Did you see him? He hit me. Maybe you also broke his stuff. Maybe I could break your face. Helpful. Great things. You stop that, Tay. No, you. Alright, so... I can't get across there right now. Because I can't jump that far. We're gonna come oh. over here. I wish it made like a little meow when I did like the dodge roll, just like meow, meow. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh. Hey, look out for that thing. Watch out for that tree. All right. You're really sweeping them off their feet. Listen, I gotta clean up around here, right? Officially, yes. It's your job for the rest of eternity. And who knows how the hell long that is. I, f I feel like the janitor. I just cleaned this place up. Wish it would stay clean for five minutes. Oh, wait, I'm literally the janitor. Oh! Literally. You remember that one time that you were a cat and you knocked a pot over and now you're sentenced to clean up hell for eternity? Yeah. Or wherever you're at? Yeah. It's not hell per se. It's just outside the palace. Yes. You're free to draw your own conclusions. That's fair. All I'm saying, this Kendra is kind of a dick. I don't know. She was all ready to let you right on in. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this does sound like it seemed like it's your fault, honestly. Wow. You kind of broke. You kind of broke all her stuff. Wow. Yes. Victim blame much? Purgatory. Purgatory. <laughs> well, nicely done, Allie Beth. Nicely done. <laughs> That's no. such a good pun. I think she deserves her own button. Yeah, uh, I don't I know. Think so. I don't know. Mm, pro mm, no, I don't think I will. 
Remember that one time that you were a meanie head poo face Tallybath? Yeah, I do. I do. I sure do. Ooh, I do like that there's a low health indicator. Okay. I like that they had a little indicator above their heads, like, to say, hey, you gotta, you gotta take care of this before the gate opens. It was nice. You're nice. I don't know, am I? My, or am I? That's what my wifey isn't. Am I a big meanie poo face or whatever? Meanie poo face, actually. <laughs> you're, See, you're, thanks for asking. You're meanie, meanie, poo. meanie head poo face. Oh, meanie head poo face. Pardon me. Hey, I found a key. Ooh. Neat, neat. Okay, and go over here. Okay. Save and heal, nice. And I can use the key to open this. Why does this look like a tavern? Oh, it's because it's a tavern. <laughs> well, that checks out. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> that tracks. Hey kid, welcome to the Sinner's Inn. How's it going? I mean, kind of bad actually. I just died and got sentenced to clean for all eternity. Haven't we all? Well, if it makes you feel any better, it's actually not too bad here. If you ask me, us bad ghosts are more fun anyways. I'm Marla, by the way. I sell all sorts of things here, so whenever you collect enough garbage, make sure to stop back in here and buy something. And I'll tell you what, as a welcoming gift, I'll even sell you your first special attack at a massive discount. It's called Super Sweep. Go on and pick it. Only one? Man, that's great. Buy it for one garbage? Yes, I will trade one garbage for... For special attack. Both special attacks and upgrades need to be equipped at save shrines. There's just there's one just outside. When you attack enemies, the vessel at the top left of your screen will fill up. When it is full, press B to un to use your special attack. Okay. Alright, so it is a special attack meter. I knew it! Remember to head to the nearest shrine to equip your new attack. You can teleport between shrines, so be sure to come back and visit whenever you collect more garbage to spend. What can I get for you? I'm gonna go ahead and get the spirit's buffer too. Creates a circle around you that hurts the nearby enemies? Hell yeah. That's an upgrade. Nice doing business with you. Remember to use this upgrade. You need to equip it at a save shrine. All right, let's go. Ooh, I've unlocked a new path. Look, I have stuff I can equip. Oh, so you have upgrade slots, and I guess the different upgrades have a different number of slots that they require. Okay. And then I have my super sweep that I can equip. Neat! And then I can save here. Ooh, my little, my little circly doodad. I like that. I wonder what happens if I keep going back this way. Let's just keep going and find out. way yet. Ooh, don't like that. 
All right, not bad, not bad. I do appreciate that it's like, hey, this is how this works. Okay, so I can't go that way. I can't go that way, so that actually I'll be coming back from that way, it looks like. Um... Oh. Do they respawn? I guess they do. Okay. Ooh, more garbage. Love garbage. Mmm, mm, tasty garbage. Alright, let's head back. Let's go up that staircase that opened up for us. Just save again while we're here. And head up the staircase. I love that I'm a little void kitty. Like, it's it's very cute. I'm very enjoying it. Oh, I never did change my, uh, my category, did I? I don't know. I can't see your category. Let's see. Uh... There we go. That works. Re-elect Kendra for Afterlife Overseer. I hate this fucker even more. Re-elect. I want to be... I want to be the cat that cleans up the afterlife. And I... And I want to start... By sweeping this fucker out of office. By taking out the garbage, if you will. I kind of want to be a Kendra supporter just because it'll piss you off. You just... You just want to be an asshole. Yeah, a little. A little? That's what I said, isn't it? I mean, it is what you said. Alright then. <laughs> Glad we had this conversation. Hope this helps. garbage I have. So much garbage. The good stuff. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, I've unlocked that way forward. I kind of want to go off to the side and see what else there is. that jukebox disc bring discs to the center's in for reward neat i love rewards well this is really uh hitting all the all the notes here i gotta say say do you love rewards boy how do you do i ever come on down to the afterlife where we'll cast you out and make you a janitor wow but you can trade garbage for rewards. Oh man, I love rewards. Sign me up. But wait, there's more. 
call in the next 15 minutes and we'll make you a small black cat at the same time. Listen, honestly, the dream. I could... Hope you're, hope you're good at unclogging demon toilets. Barehanded. Those are the only kind of hands that I have. Ooh, they friendly fire. That means I can turn them against each other. Get out of here. I really like this game. This one I feel like is gonna be, it's gonna be on the wish list. It's gonna happen. Okay, this looks like one of them their little... There we go. Ooh. Ow. Yeah, you've got low health. Thanks, Chip. Whoa! Oh, I like that. I like that very you much. Should, you should try having more health. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, that's why you have us. Is it? Ow! Goddamn zombie prick. Hey, watch out for the zombies. Little well, statues everywhere. But they sort of went all Kool-Aid, man. Oh, yeah. First out of a hidden wall. Pearl's Shrine. Let's see what we got here. Hey, sorry to scare you. I was just up in the rafter sweeping up some grime. This whole cavern is a shrine dedicated to Pearl, the most beautiful frog to ever live. I'm a bit embarrassed to see it get so dirty, so I'm trying to clean this whole place up. Oh, so are you a janitor too? No, I'm just a frog. But Kendra did sentence me to clean up the afterlife for all eternity. She actually sentences everyone to that same fate. Although most other ghosts just stop cleaning after a while. Well, anyways, my name's Pebble, and I'll be around here cleaning for a bit, so I'll see you around. Wait, did you say every ghost is a janitor? Yep, every ghost here has been sentenced to clean for eternity. You'd think that after a while this place would actually start to look clean, but the garbage keeps flowing in. Let's say... Crazy, that. It's wild, wild stuff. Alright, I'm gonna save. Let's see... I gotta say though, gameplay-wise, this thing is really well put together. Ooh, don't like that clappy clap. No, no clapping. Is it, is it lit AF? I don't, I don't know what you're saying to me, Lolly. What are you saying? What are the words that are coming out of your mouth? No cap. Once again, I'm, I'm requesting that you simply speak English. Or. The new one that the Zoomer said. Nope, don't Pog you... Poggy Woggies? God. Oh yeah, fantastic. What? What is that? Like... It's fucking kids, I swear to God. I don't think I can jump. Like, don't get me wrong, it's awful and I hate it, but... <laughs> Do you? So does Thunder, so you'll, you'll take one for the team. Ah, uh, there it is. CKY, you don't even want to know, buddy. You just don't want to know. Well, that's a big door. Um, you know what I could do? I could teleport to the other one. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's good. Let's see. The fuck are you doing here? 
Don't you hate bestie at me? Oh, yeah, it's your bestie. You fucking shit heap. It's so funny seeing you here. I was gonna say the same. What are you doing here? Don't you live in the palace? I sure do, but I like to come out here and see how you bad ghosts live. It keeps me humble. Fuck off. Oh, by the way, I was wanting to talk to you about the whole me dooming you for eternity thing. I just wanted you to know that there's no hard feelings, on my end at least. So I was hoping we could just, like, get over it and... Alrighty, off you go. I'm... I'm gonna... Oh my god. Oh, look at that! Yeah. That's neat. See? She means well, and she just wants to be your friend. I don't think that's true at all. She literally called you bestie. That doesn't mean anything. That means you're besties. I don't think that means anything. So you should speak nicer about your bestie. No, I don't think I will. Wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Elena. Elena gets it. Sorry, bud, I can't let you in here. Treat your bestie. The series for VIPs only, and I've never even seen you before, so you can't be that important. Now scram. Hey, you're the new janitor. You're very important. What if I just beat this fucking mouse with my broom? Is that a euphemism? Maybe. Is that how it was in the 80s when Cowbunga was widely used? Oh no, that's different. That's just... That's just... That's just Ninja Turtle talk. How do we feel about I, Karumba? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> hey, quit breaking shit. That's how you get in this mess. No. Louie! What games are you going to make you want? Um, well, listen. I'm not done tonight yet, so... Get ready. Oh. I can dig this. Can you dig it? Alright, so I guess I have to kick it up that way now. Oh, are we gonna kick it up a notch? Maybe. Bam. Louie, how are you, bud? How are you now? You gotta work in the mornings, so you need to get back to it. Go to bed. Go the fuck to sleep, Louie. I love hey, you. Hey, Louie stuff, member. What's this? Ditch effort. Make attacks 30. So health upgrades can be equipped at save shrines. It looks like it uses three slots. Neat. I wonder when I start to get more slots. All right, let's see what fresh hell this is. Oh, that's a bug. Pretty sure it's a feature. You're a feature. Oof. You're a creature. All right, so it looks like we got a track there. We gotta go turn on the platform for it at some point. Nope, I don't think so. We work our way down here. Nice. All right, we got one of these things. Oh! Oh, that's a- oh, because it's a wall. See if we can bounce it that way. Nice! Look at me, fucking... Big brain games, like, programmer strats over here. Or whatever. I know words. Or I know whatever. You know, stuff and things. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked, game. Told you. 
Neum. Quit doing that. Get out of here, you bother me. Look at all this garbage I have. So much garbage. Alright, what are you doing down here? No, that doesn't work. Hmm. Oh. Aha! There's a little thing on the ground. See, it told you, to, told me what to do. I like that. I like the little, the little hints, the little indicators. All right, let's see what this is. I got a feeling I'm not gonna like this very much. Oof. Well, I wasn't a fan of that, but you know, I'm alive. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh no, I died. Hi, it's me, Stan. Okay, alright. It took me back to where I was. I'm not sure I lost anything though. Which I'm happy about. That takes real talent. Already, oh yeah, no, I, I don't know what to tell you, Warder, other than to, I guess, get good, buddy. Like maybe one day you'll be on my level. What's this? Wouldn't that be lovely? A photo. Oh, these are the photos from my life, and then Pebble lived with a pearl in a rainy bog. Oh. Well, this is gonna be cute and sad, I feel like. It's a statue of Pearl and another frog. The other frog looks like Pebble. Well, that's probably sad. It tells you you get good he's the one that died in death. I'm sorry. Have you ever been dead and then got even more dead? No? I didn't think so. So, get on my level. Saying. Now part of a trilogy, Dead and Dead 2. <laughs> Wait till you hear about what Dead 3 is about. Uh, I heard it's about Tree Fitty. Oh. Sounds like uh, some Loch Ness monster shit you gotta watch out for. Alright. Uh, I think this is where I was, was up here. Went up here, did this. Came up this way. And that's the one that did me in. Ouch. I like this, like it's fun, it's challenging, but it's not like, like by default, it's not kick your shit in, which I appreciate. 
There's another key. Lovely, lovely. I think the... Oh, there's the lock over there. Wait, can I just warp directly to a shrine? Is that a thing I can do? No. For realsies? <laughs> no. That's why the second circle of hell. I mean, maybe. <sighs> I got a new upgrade slot. Oh, yeah. Oh, you should put an upgrade in there. Oh, I, you know, I hadn't thought of that. Well, you know, this is what I'm here for. It's pro strats. Look at that. I can just teleport. Okay. Open the door. Hi, Pebble. I just love the statue. I think it looks just like her. Did you know her? I love our Wistifer. Hi, Wisty. I miss her so much. You see, in frog culture, dying is one of the saddest things that can happen to someone. But now that I'm dead, I worry about her a lot. I just hope she's okay. Well, anyways, I guess I gotta go back to cleaning. I love you, Wistie. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Hi, Wistie. What? Oh boy. Uh, that's a bear. Big bear. I am like a angry big, bear. I'm a big bear. Do -do 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 -do. Lovely soundtrack. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. I quite like it. I don't think it has, in a lot of instances, a fairly short loop, but it's such a pleasant loop that you don't mind. Oh boy, here come the carbs to take me away. Mm, love when the carbs take me away. Get out of here. Mm. You, you see, my, my lovely birthday week bride had a hankering for some pastas. Man, I love a pastas. So, we, uh, we, we ordered in some carbabas. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good stuff. Very tasty. Wistie, thanks for the lurk, buddy. I love you.
Nope. And I just landed back over there. Oh, that did work. Oh, I didn't think that would work. Wait. Yeah, I think that worked. Thanks. No. That's not going to work. Okay, that's definitely a wall. This is all open here. Nope. Also back to this other side. Aha! Okay. There's the ricochet. Nice. Listen, I'm not doing too bad at this, alright? I've only died the one time. I'm pretty happy with this. As long as you're happy. You know, I don't know if I, I want to fuck with that right now, though. What is it, Wu Tang Clan? Well, it's not for the children, so no. So it's nothing to fuck with. Sounds like I opened the gate. Power the globe! How far am I from the teleporting majig? Ooh, that's real far. Well, there's a lot of stuff back here. Holy shit. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Mmm, garbage. I feel like Oscar the Grouch's cat like just give me all that garbage. I didn't think he had any pets. I didn't think he did either, but you know, here we are. All right, we're going to attempt this and see what happens. Those guys aren't too bad. Ow. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Could have gone better. Go 
this way. Aha! Another another thingy ma bobber. Not to be confused with the thingy ma jigger. Yes, that's correct. Yes, that's very different. Hello, Ever. Uh, Ev. I think this is Pebbles' broom. It's like she dropped it. Oh no. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I don't like the look of this. Nope, I'm, I'm not a fan of the way this looks. Nope. It's probably fine. Is I it? Wouldn't worry about it. Because I don't think it is. Yeah. No, oh, Ever. Come I love on. You, you worry too much. Oh my God. Are you absolutely like, fucking kidding me? Like, what's the worst thing that can happen to her? You guys are in fucking hell. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Nope, don't like that. Nope, don't like that. Nope, don't like that. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my god. Have you considered liking that? Nope. Oh no, yeah. Mm, you could have commented and subscribed too. That might have helped. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. You nerds. Oh boy. Alright, let's go face the pot full of spiders again. Spider pot, spider pot. Oh, hi, Biggs. Oh, you met him. Hello, motherfucker. Hi, Biggs. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm finding a pot full as, of spiders. As much as I hate to agree with you, Water. There you go. There you go. There you go. Or not. Oh my god. Oh, you should try to avoid that attack. Thanks, pal. I got it. I got it. I got it. Whoo! Biggs, how you doing, buddy? The what do I tell you? Make oh. their HP reach zero before yours does, and you'll win. Oof. Pebble? Are you okay? You okay? Are you okay, Pebble? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh, yeah, I think so. I was just trying to clean some grime <laughs> off of that pot, and I guess I fell in. I should probably go outside a bit anyways. Being here in this shrine for too long always brings me down. You know, I don't mind being stuck outside the palace most of the time, but I wish I could go inside just once so I could see Pearl again. Wait, I thought you said she was still alive. Is she in the palace? Oh, you don't know? There's something very special inside the palace. It's a mirror made of crystal soul. Any ghost who steps inside the mirror can visit Earth again for just a moment. The living won't be able to see you but you can at least feel their presence again. And maybe they can feel yours as well. But I guess it's not really worth thinking about things like that. After all, we're stuck out here forever, so getting to use the crystal mirror is totally impossible. I guess I should just get back to cleaning then. Thanks for helping me get back there. Look, I'm friends with Pebble now! I made a friend. See, you were worried. Oh, and I have something for you, by the way. It's in the room just north of here. You can go and grab it. Is it a piece of the Triforce? It's probably a piece of the Triforce. Air dash, you press... Like, uh... 
Huh? I like making friends with frogs, don't you? Listen, not necessarily. I just... They end up getting themselves into some shit, and I take care of it, and then that's how it works. Press right bumper while in air-to-air -air dash. Your dodge roll has been replaced with a much quicker ground dash, and your stamina refill time has been drastically improved. You are invulnerable while dashing. And you're always dashing. You stop that. The black reads, no. Dear Pearl, may we see each other again someday. Love, Pebble. Oh. Well, that's... As predicted, very sweet and also depressing. Yeah. So... For various reasons, I'm probably going to skip this game. Yep, I understand. But it's really cute, though. It seems extremely well made. Yep. I... It's quite lovely. Yep. Uh, however. Yep. Boss rush mode has been unlocked from the main menu. Any boss that has been defeated in game can be replayed in this mode. This marks the end of the main content for this demo, but there's a lot more to explore if you'd like to keep playing. Wish list. Ah, oh, it popped it up in the overlay. That's no. a pro move. No, Warder, not the, not the spooters. Nope. All right. No, just some of the overall themes. Yeah. I can understand why this is... Looking to deal with right now. All right, well, Crypt Custodian's going on my wish list. Uh, I'm, yeah, I like it. I think they did a good job with it. Very, very impressed. Um, let's play it for a couple more minutes. See what else I can do in here. The game's been saved. Come down this way. Hear you little shit. Nobody asked you. There we go. Jeez, what a mess. Alright, we're gonna... Good, we got that. Alright, uh, this is... We're probably getting to a good stopping point. Um, let me come up this way and see if I can find another... 
um, what do you call it? Another shrine. Or whatever that thing is. Another one of them whatchamadoos? Yeah, the whoosie what's it's. Can do that now, which is good. What comes in is when I come up here. Oh, that's a thing. Ow. Let's go back to the little shrine or whatever it is over here. I guess it's a, is it a well? I don't know. Well, well, well. All right, I think we're uh, I think we're done here. This was this is really cute, and I really like it. And this is definitely on my list. So we're gonna we're gonna call this one here. All right. Let's go to, let's close this. That was really good. Um, all right, let me see. Check on some stuff over here. Cool stuff happening over here. What's doing over here? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Um, all right. So the next thing that I'm going to play tonight, and this will probably be the last thing that I do play. Um, Next I, item up for bids. The next item up for bids is um Yeah, okay. The next thing I'm playing is called Potions a Curious Tale. Did it does it do it? Will it do it? Oh nice. Adventure and crafting. Adventure game. at AMP. Yes, well, it's, yes. Well, maybe that's a thing I can fix in the Steam command. Where wit is your greatest weapon and combat is not always the answer. Play as Luna, a young witch who overcomes obstacles with the potion she brews as she gathers items from enchanted lands and conquers devious puzzles on her quest. So this is something that I, I was on TikTok today and just doing a little bit of scrolling this morning, and I saw two TikToks from the developer inside of this very short span. I'm like, all right, this, I think I'm gonna have to check this out. Um, so, you like that? This, has, this has the juice. Uh, let's go back and let's change my category. Oh no. You uh you good over there? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh <clears throat> so where is my button? Potion's a curious tale. Alright, let me get that going. Let me wait for the sound majig to pop oh up my so I can God, that. That's that's a large building. Okay. You're a large building. Well, I have to clear this whole fucking thing. Let's see. Shall we? Let's just start with the club and see how bad this is. Okay, let's see. 
very quiet. I don't hear any music yet. Okay. Took one step into the building and it just my little map has filled up. And here comes the assholes. And here comes the assholes. Three minutes some firebot the other day. You'd be proud of me. I I'm hidden. I'm always proud of you. Okay, so this is Luna, the witch that we play as. Let's see. Hi, Luna. How are you? You're right down there. <laughs> okay, listen. I, I, I'm suddenly having like so visions of saying, playing 14. On my way to Luna. So what you're saying? <laughs> so what you're saying is that in this game, you are a purple-haired witch who crafts potions in order to avoid combat. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know anyone like that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the audio just yet. My head broke my fall. Limsa. Limsa Luminsa. It's, it weirdly works there, right? Mm-hmm. Ah. We've run aground. Take these potions of healing and stay below deck. Top side is no place for a young lass. There's a roar. Okay, so that wasn't yeah. so bad. Oh, there's there's our volume settings. All right, so let's let's bring this up. I want my music volume up. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, I'm gonna turn this way the hell up because I'm not hearing much of anything. It is also nigh impossible to tell it's probably better keyboard and mouse honestly but the God. fact that it works with the controller is nice Elevator. oh god okay that's some very loud ground Okay, use left bumper and right trigger to drink a potion of healing. Okay. Oh, I nope. see. Oh, yeah. Gluten-free tacos. Doing alright, Tay. Let's see. Alright, use left stick to move. Okay, okay. Well, that didn't go very well. No. So there's this elevator thing. And elevators are not part of... Oh, God, they broke it. So elevators are not part of the game. So this is something modded in. Okay. But it triggered the zombies before it was supposed to. And now... I can't get up to the next floor anymore because they broke the fucking thing. Lovely. And now, some wisdom from the girls. From a chapter entitled, Sign Up for Rewards Points. Blanche. I need three more people to get the group rate at the hotel. Sophia, I thought hotels always gave you the group rate. Rose. Yes, sweetheart, but this is for the whole night. And this <laughs> has been the wisdom of the girls. Oh. Thank you for being a friend. Outstanding. Out fucking standing. That's. Yeah, that's a good one. Alright, get back, devilfish. I shall have your tentacles hung from the main yard like the slimy. What on earth is that thing? It's the. God damn it. I go from frogs to actual. For, to cracko. What the hell? Hmm.
It's not hurting me, it's just... Listen, you are a... You are a... Uh, myself, I don't know what we can do. Why is that guy dressed like Buff Peter Griffin? I don't know. Yeah, so this isn't good. So basically, I'm gonna fail this mission now because I can't get to where I have to go. That's a shame. Order, it's literally pinned, buddy. There. As, I don't know if pins work on mobile. Perhaps he is on mobile. Pins work on mobile. Your face works okay. on mobile? Do they work on mobile or do they work on mobile? No, no. Pins are one of the few things that do work on mobile because we don't have an API for it. All right. Well, in that case, sorry, pal. Reading is fundamental. Okay, get oiled. Get oiled, you cracko bastard. Nice, nice. And Tom, 2024. The beast flees from you as if from Oh wow. The young girl sends a terrible monster back to the decks. The bar shall sing of your glory great victory. Oh, they call that a victory. I don't like this guy already. Town of Old Haven, like much, but it's the only port this side of the wildlands. Attracts all manner of adventurers, treasure hunters, smugglers, and scoundrels. So it's like Moss Eisley, but with magic. Exactly called it a safe passage, but a deal's a deal. Here's the rest of your payment. The rest safe and sound. Boats. Listen, man, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, Tay. Your fucking boat sucks, and I had to save you from a fucking sea monster, so fuck you. What about semen? No, monster. See, monster. It's very different. Emily, I already hate your face, and I want to stab you in it. The attack by huge sea monster wow. just before we arrived. Wow. In a very safe town. My grandmother. Well, he's just trying to live her life out here. Yeah, well, she, she's, she shouldn't be scowling at me like I did something wrong. Well, have you considered not doing something wrong? You learned the intricacies of one of the most complicated forms of magic. I doubt you'd be able to grasp the basic concept. Okay, so see, Emily's... <laughs> yes, stab her. See? See? Thank you. Thank you. Also, welcome in, Coven. Hope you're doing well. Uh, mean girl? Yes. Mean girl, witch. Caught on Just misunderstood. The apprentice. Listen here. I fucking will stab you. You should never, cross the anger bridge friend. to the friendship shore. Okay, look. Look, look, look. <laughs> kids, kids, kids got a little Calvin and Hobbes. Look at this. Are you seeing this? There's little Calvin and Hobbes. Mm. I love that. Legally distinct, of Le course. Yes, legally distinct, legally distinct blonde scamp and and stuffed tiger friend. Hidden, don't you dare say who. Don't you dare say who. She literally already said it. God damn you, Hidden. Like, I don't know what else you want. You're on break? Well, welcome in, Coven. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's wander a bit. What else we got? Okay, okay. A little fallen leaves, love that. What's uh, what's what's lovesick over here? Mary Muffet, hi, I'm Mary. Are you Luna? My father said you were coming. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's gonna be so wonderful to have another girl my age here. Please accept this ivy as a symbol of our new friendship. Find wood in oh, the Oh, good stuff. news, you're friends. All right, sweet. That's cool. Friendship. 
I got some cherries. That's pretty cool. What else we got around here? Anything else I can pick? Well, that bush looks like it has stuff on it. Blueberries. Barely stained, clumsy Ooh. fingers. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That was the wrong button. You're the wrong button. Let's tell you what I will do instead. This must be the place. Do what I want. I really, really want. Hello. Hey, it's Granny. I'm digging Granny's hair. She's stylish. I respect it. My dear, welcome. How am I? How you've grown? Nice to see you, Grandmother. Please call me Granny. Everyone else around here does. I understand that you've shown some skill in the craft of potion brewing? I wouldn't exactly call it skill. I was trying to make some brown dye to color scuff in the door, and it exploded. I love exploding stuff. Oh, yeah. We've uh, we've played several witch games lately, actually. It's been really fun. Which ones? Uh, let's see. We played this one. We played uh, Nevergrave. We played... Um, God, I can't even remember. There was like there was one or two more. Um, I thought right under the radar. Perfecto. We regularly like to say the lion, the witch, the audacity of this bitch. God damn it! I'm sure that counts as a game. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Blew the back porch right off the house. Nice. Is that a euphemism? Nope. Nope, buddy. That's not. Not like you after not after a fucking burrito night. Why Tell me. people taco night? Okay, listen. I saw I saw some somebody doing like some cooking video the other day where they oh it was have you ever seen the roll for sandwich guy? Yes. Okay, so the roll for sandwich guy had a sandwich this week where, uh, or last week where his leftovers that he had to put on the sandwich was literally like taco season ground beef so he literally had white people taco night meat as his meat for his sandwich <laughs> a goth five-year resident neurosurgeon who happens to be which nice then that makes you to my knowledge the second witch in our community uh after liz liz le fay who is probably doing a, the schoolings tonight and all right, go on, tell me how you made this explosion. Well, there were some mushrooms around that were almost the right color of brown, so I ground them up. It was too light to match the door, though, so I had a bit of ash in the fireplace until the shade matched. And then, I didn't have a brush, so I found a feather to apply it, and bam! It blew up the second I touched it with a feather. Oh, minor explosion potion. Marvelous, my dear. You do have the talent. Now go collect a mushroom, ash, and a feather. Maybe we'll find the ash and feathers at McDonald's Farm. There should be plenty of mushrooms at the edge e of the deep dark. E -I -O. <laughs> nice. The edge of the deep dark forest. Off you go. Can I just use the ash from the fireplace here? And wreak havoc on my own supply? Certainly not. Go search out these ingredients and come back when you've gathered them all. Okay. Is this better? This this might be better with... I mean, it, it seems like it's working. A lot of feisty people? Yeah. May I help you? Can you please help me collect these herbs? Okay. Some time. I love some time. Alright. Uh, let's go see what I can find. That's locked. Oh, for Christ's sake, Tay. <laughs> God damn it, Tay. Please don't scare off the new people, Tay. Alright. I'm gonna go over the farm. Let them, get, let them get settled in for a second. Before. <laughs> hey, little buddy, what you doing? That's a little dust sprite. Look at that. The darker the ash, the more charcoal it contains. I don't think it's safe to go down there right now. Yes. They bring people together in that they join hands while they flee from wherever the puns are being told. That's true. Uh, listen, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think, I think there's, I think there's a temple at the bottom of that well. That's Here, impossible. We'll send a child down there. All right, perfect. Well, you need their little fingers <laughs> to fit. 
That's got this a health good thing bar. There's no generators down there. Wow. Wow. You're a generator. Of memes and content and poop. Exclamation point, all is lost. The papers the oh, rat right. stole from Greg. There's no such button. One's a dick. Yes, that's right. I am a dick, and I will have you remember that. No, I I don't need little kid fingers. It's f it's for them to go in the well. And then the knife. Ha <laughs> ha. What the? Oh, it's a magic imajig. Hey, look, a Cheshire with lots of feathers. Look at all these feathers I got. Little dust sprite baby. You're gonna tickle so many people. It's so many, so many. Listen, I'm I'm working on making a pillow. If I get enough, I can make a comforter to go with it. Hey, who are you? That bull just won't leave me alone. It charges around me anytime I go near it. Maybe it's your red shirt. Thought they were colorblind. That's haven't dogs you, you're thinking of. Haven't you ever seen a Star Trek? It's always the red shirts. God. Friggin Although farm. that guy's not actually wrong. That's not the point. He still has probably never seen a Star Trek. Insanely good with a knife. Well, I mean, you know. I would, I would hope so. As a neurosurgeon, I, I should hope so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, knives? No, they don't let me touch this. <laughs> I would be, the, I would be the neurosurgeon that wouldn't be allowed to touch knives. It's like, no, 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 no. You stay back there. You can talk us through this one. Yeah. I, oh my god, this is a throwback. Hey, Tom. Yeah, bud. Remember way back 1966 pickup sticks when uh, me and Steve used to have that podcast and we watched so many of the yeah, Star Trek? Yeah, I was Treks? on it. Yeah. I had a whole episode. I, I even had a graphic made. It's true. You did. You did. Talk us through it, but don't touch. That's right. I just like... I start to, I go I go to scrub in and it's like ah, 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 back out of the room you go up in the gallery the last person we let you touch forgot numbers oh yeah it wasn't my fault don't worry about it hidden okay so I got a lot of other god damn it hey Knife slipped, someone lost a lobe. It was fine. Nothing, nothing happened. Ooh, I got some blueberries and some more ivy. Look at the little desperate baby. Oh, I love them. So it looks like there's like, it's, it's proximal and like, this is, this is good though. Like, it's, it's really cute. This is really cute. I love a little dust sprite. You've already touched a brain tonight? Oh, man, I haven't touched a brain in... Well, ever. I guess. All right, now let's I don't know if I've ever touched a brain. I know I've gotten pretty deep with a Q-tip. Oh, yeah. Well, I have too, but I'm not sure I have the required equipment on my own to touch a brain. Hey, I got a, I got a mushroom. Water Ubu? <laughs> <laughs> For 100,000 neurons covering the brain makes it squishy. It's very, it looks very squishy. Very, very squishy. You might know a lot about the brain, but do you know why kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? 
hundred thousand neurons and none of them are on the me. orange cat. <laughs> and none of them are what? On the orange cat. Oh yeah. That's... <laughs> Ow. Oh god. That mushroom's trying to kill me. And other things said while well, high. <laughs> no <Don't eat> drugs, <laughs> kids. Who's the tasty one now? Holy shit! What the? F what the fuck? <laughs> oh, nugs, not drugs. Oh, I love nugs. No, you know what? I have to do it. Oh God. Shatter easily, huh? There you go. Beautiful. Congrats, you're immortalized. Oh my, wait, what the hell just happened? Oh. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, the mushroom got hit by the thing and then it's, oh. Well, thanks, Kevin. Are you about to say a video game sentence? Yeah, that's, that's, okay, there's, yeah. Listen, Coven, I'm just curious, how'd you find us? Because, um, we're kind of a shit show. Oh. And I'm always curious. Oh. oh. Neuron bur God damn it, Tay. Who would you refer? <laughs> There's cause to celebrate. Dan! Dan, how are you, buddy? Recommended this? Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much. Ow! Dan, why you're are we sunny. celebrating? What is the good news of the day, sir? Also, I love you, buddy. Hope you're doing good. I mean, apparently it does. It brought Coven here, so, you know. There you go. I've, I've followed a couple people lately from my recommended list. Damn it, Tay, Rick. You, boy, howdy, you are. The sub is. You were, Dan. You were gifted a sub. Uh, I think that happened on Sunday, in fact. Ah, oh, you've gathered all the ingredients. Perfect. Let me show you how to craft them. Okay, okay. This is where you can craft potions by combining, combining ingredients. Okay. All potions take three ingredients Do to craft. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. I just need to make this like a gift or something that pops up. I need that. Dan, oh, thanks for the bits, fine. buddy. That's fantastic all right all potions take three ingredients to craft some will require specific ingredients while others may only require mana combinations each ingredient has a mana value the feather you gathered for example contributes one air mana now let's craft that minor explosion potion the potion is rare that it uses three types of mana most potions are crafted with only two different mana types combine mushroom with ash and a feather okay not a bad idea they're hidden Mushroom. Ash. And feather. And craft. Wonderful dear, your very first potion. You can review the recipe for it in the recipe book by pressing Y, and you can craft as many as you have the ingredients for. Listen, Coven, you're going to find out uh, hot dogs are a big part of what we do around here, uh, as seen, uh, as exhibited by my brand new Oscar Mayer hot dog controller and the aforementioned crocheted hot dog. All right. Though you made this with mushroom, mash, and feather, you can make it with other ingredients of the same elements, too. Be sure to look for ingredients with different mana values in your explorations. Those rare higher mana ingredients can make potions that really pack a punch. Yeah, Dan, this controller is great, buddy. Like, it's fantastic. And Hyperkin makes it, so I know it's going to be a pretty good controller. It's Bluetooth, so it's going to connect to basically everything. And it's 
It's a hot dog controller. For fuck's sake, it's a hot dog controller. Now you can control all those hot dogs. It's true. That's true. I can just... Because it's Bluetooth, that means I can just make all the hot dogs wireless and just, like, have them just jump out of the fridge and land on the plate for me. Uh... Tago, enjoy your uh, your gluten free tacos, buddy. I love you. Enjoy your Taco Tuesday. Mm, oh yeah, it's to oh it's Tuesday. I forgot it's Tuesday, even though there's a thing above me that says it's Tuesday, and then I specifically stream on Tuesdays. I forgot. You ever forget? It happened to me. Uh, remember though, you can only carry ten vials of each potion in your satchel at a time. All right, all right, all right. So like. Oh. Yikes. Okay, Coven. See you Ooh. later. Coven, hope things go well. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. A minor cone of mud. My god, I can just make stuff. What happens when I do it with two mushrooms and one blueberry? A, a minor cone of vines. Oh my god, I can make stuff. Minor cone of ass. Ooh. Minor cone of ass? Yes. Minor cone of mud. Okay, okay. Let's see what else we got here. Minor cone of poison gas. That's the minor cone of ass. Let's see what happens. Oh right, because I already, I already, okay, because I did the combination. Would I like to equip these new potions? Yes, yes, I would. You know how to craft? You're welcome to use my cauldron to brew any potion you like. Just select the cauldron to start crafting. Speaking of which, would you please pay a visit to Callum at the farm? I fear I lost my stone of recall when I was looking into his dry well. Be sure to take some minor explosion potions with you. Nasty rat problem there. Aggressive things even stole papers from my bags. Okay. Let's make another one of these just so I Let's make a let's make a few of these. Yeah, let's let's make the 3 that I can. All right. So let's let's go with that. Yes. I see you've collected a good amount of potion ingredients. Let's store them for safekeeping. Okay. I'll store your ingredients whenever you return home. You wouldn't want to lose them if you befall troubles in your adventures. Cool. Thanks, Granny. All right, so there's my explosion potion. Neat, neat. Explosions! All right, let's go to the farm. Ooh, look, dust sprite. Dust sprite. Come here. Come here, little buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here. There you go. You're coming home with me. Oh, there's another feather over here. Dead or alive, you're a coming with me. A gobbler? All right, let's go down the well. And stolen granny stone or recall. Select the potion on the potion bar you wish to use by pressing left bumper and right bumper, and then use right trigger to release and throw a potion along the previewed path. Okay, so. Nice. Aha! Look at that! That's a fancy stone right there. Granny stone recall to get back home using up on the D pad. Okay. 
And a treasure sh 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 Some ash. Nice, nice. Love that for me. Alright, now... Finish that. Oh, look, more, more little dust sprites. I love them. I love them. They're so freaking cute. Another, yeah, Very they dusty respond. And sprite like. I know. So sprightly, you might say. All right, let's go over here. Pick up a feather. And I love this. This is so fun. This is adorable. And, like, to my knowledge, it was mostly just the one developer that made it. Carved it out of a larger game. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know if she carved it. I think it was more like a whittling. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's, at least that's my understanding. Whittle me timbers. <laughs> Yar. Vulnerable to my potions. Hmm. The bull could not give a f two fucks about my potion. Come on, rat. Not a very supportive bull. Come back. Come here. Come on. Oh. Oh, you're not gonna... Oh, you're gonna be... You're gonna be a little bastard about it, huh? Okay. What a bunch of bull. Hidden? Personally. Personally, I think that's terrible. Personally, I prefer the air. Ooh, look, some more feathers. And time. What, hidden? God damn it, hidden. Wait, why are we yelling at hidden? I don't know, because... Because she, she made a bull pun. Listen, I need the bull to charge at me so that I can do something about this rat's nest. You, with the horns, come at me, bro. Come on, horny boy. I'm warping. Hey, 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 hey whoa, I'm warping here. Prince Charming. Get fucked, Prince Charming. Is she of age? I'll have you know. Listen, I'll have you know. I'm gonna punch you square in your schnoz. Is that Prince Valium? <laughs> the stone will return you home to my home from wherever you may travel. You have authority. You don't have no. You don't have shit. You're a figurehead. Get out. And <laughs> my deepest apologies for neglecting your tantrum, my prince. I'm so violent tonight. I'm not violent. There's just people in this game that clearly need to be taken down a peg or two. Not you Granny. Peg them? Certainly not Luna. But the one, like, you know. There's some people in this game that I think are designed for you not to like them. Luna's seen her Sounds twelve. like they cycles. were well designed. She's at age to use these trinkets and study potion brewing herself. Shall I brew a mood enhancer for you? You seem quite troubled. No, I want none of it. No. <laughs> hidden, no. That's not. That's not the same hidden. That's not the same. No. That's no. what you said, though. No. No, that's not. That's no. I heard what hidden heard. I'm sure you did. The prince has adopted an interesting approach for his stay in Old Haven. Who is he? He's Prince Charming, the youngest prince of the royal family, no matter. I was recovering the Stone of Recall. I had to fight a rat down in the well to get it. 
Good job, my dear. While we work to save lives, conflict is sometimes unavoidable or even necessary. It is? Do you think toad eyes grow on trees? I fear not, but you'll find much benefit in only killing for what you need to, as force is often met with force. Many things can be gained with other methods of approach. Here, let me enter this recipe for a minor potion of healing in your recipe book to heal you in any future encounters. The book can be found in the bottom right corner of the crafting scene. Okay. Here you can review all the recipes you've learned. You'll find your knowledge of them may allow you to create them with different sets of ingredients. Okay. Like the minor explosion potion, this minor potion of healing uses three types of mana. Most potions only use two. You'll select the ingredients for potion recorded in your recipe book. You would have crafted multiple copies of the potion at once by increasing the multi-craft number to the right of the selected ingredient. I did that earlier. Now, my dear, practice your brewing by crafting two minor potions of healing, delivering one to the inn and the other to the huntsman. Here are the ingredients for them. Hunt, 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 he's the huntsman. Nice. All right, so... Very deep cut. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm going to do, like, five of these things just for funsies. Because I'm going to need them. Yay, minor potion of healing. Look, it's like a little heart. Yes, I would love to equip these new potions. Okay, bye, Granny. Okay, where's the end? A beautiful time. Ooh, Bluesberries. Not to be confused with like Blues Brothers. Yes. Oh. Oh my god, I'm... Ugh. Potion for the Huntsman, so you're playing the Aaron Girl down to Granny Figura. Uh, no. Wow! I'm gonna set her on fire. I'm gonna set her right on fire. No, no. Listen, maybe... Granny accidentally gave her a potion of being a fucking bitch. And, <laughs> you know, what is she supposed to do about that? <laughs> I'm gonna set her on fire. No, not not the fun kind of fire. No, ever, that's different. There's a fun kind of fire? I don't know, maybe. Ooh! There's Norse stuff in this. I need to go make another explodey potion. I'm gonna go. Or Snorse West. Nice. Be right back. Making making explodies. Wee. Magical cards. You can use them to unlock magical doors. With one bronze card, you can. Back of our home. Don't fear. They won't disappear. Neat. I need at least one explodey potion. I think everyone does. Yeah. How else would you explode stuff? I mean, that's a fair point. Yes, I would love to equip those, thank you. All right, let's go back outside. Let's go unlock. You know how to use cards to unlock doors too? That's Dove, that's different, buddy. That's that's different. You're thinking of something different. But you're thinking, and I, I like that. I can't unlock it yet. I don't have enough bronze. It says I don't have enough bronze cards. Apparently you cannot get you flask. <laughs> Hello, Stevens Doves. No, 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 just, just the one, just the, Stevens just got one, the, the one dove. It's his only dove. He purchased it from a magician. I'm almost entirely certain. Ooh, there's a crate. What's in the crate? 
Stuff. Love stuff. Dove, what are you up to tonight? A minor potion of healing for you. Thank you. Tell your grandmother that I'll send payment later. I must attend to this awful prince right now. Oh, look! It's Prince Dickbag. Hello, Prince Dickbag. Do you need to be kicked in the nads? More mulberry wine. No, I do not know. Oh. Hey, remember that time I had to save your boat? Because you suck? Hi, Fritz. Wow. Never adult innkeeper. I'm so sorry that these people are terrible. Fritz, what are you up to tonight, buddy? I did deliver the potions. That obnoxious hothead is harassing other people. Is he? Let me add water bomb recipe to recipe. You can use it to cool hotheads like him. <laughs> did you did you know water could hurt? Boy howdy, can water hurt? Water is the blue shell of life. Especially if you're made of sugar. Oh yeah, that's true, yeah. Water is a solvent after all. Not a particularly powerful one, but it is a solvent. Potions of healing for use in the field. I'll always heal you to full health when you get home, though. Limited by your recipes, though. Most combination ingredients with two types of mana will create potions, so feel free to experiment. I did! Your next task is quite beyond our brewing capabilities, however, for there's another item every witch should carry. You'll need to visit my elder sister in the deep dark forest. She won't be difficult to find. Just look for a hut perched atop a pair of chicken legs. 9.5, is that you? Maybe a quest later to come back to collect that money. That's what the water bomb is for? Probably. A hut on chicken legs? You know what I just thought about when I think about a hut on chicken legs? Remember in um, Moonstone Island, the, uh, the, the weird guy that would show up, like his hut would walk up and it had little chicken legs and he would just like randomly appear on islands? Has like the mirror that he lost all of his memories and you had to find the pieces of the mirror for him to repiece his memories together? That guy, that's what I think about, because he had this he had his little hut on chicken legs. It was really weird. Take this handkerchief. I've wrapped up a bit of ham and a slice of bread. Oh, I love ham and bread. A little snack to keep a feet keep your feet light on the journey. Oh no. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, I just accidentally found a horde. Three waters, huh? Very well. Oh. 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 Go on then. A red dye. Chicken legs, Baba Yaga. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Amy. But also, you're probably not wrong. Hey, I got a water bomb. Uh, sure. Oh, right. That's a silver card. I need a bronze one. That makes more sense. Uh, okay, let's... I got a skadoodle. So let's go to the deep dark forest. And I got some stuff I gotta do down here. Gobbler. This impressively sized fowl has a bad attitude and prefers to be keep to itself. While they're sometimes kept by farmers, they're usually found in the wild. Fowl play at its finest. Bad attitudes, big appetite. Let's see, what do we got down here? Oh, there's a cave down here. What's in the cave? Esper from Final Fantasy VI? Yes. Yes, it is.
Ooh. Beautiful. Love that. Love the camera zoom. That's just nice. Buddy, you should finish that game. Aha! Basilisk. Such venom in a small package. The basilisk is hatched from a rooster's egg and looks like a rooster with a serpent's tail. Its gaze, bite, breath, and hiss are all fatal. Ivy? Mmm. Love getting some ivy. Alright. Go back out this way. This away. Mad about you prefer four? I mean, listen, you gotta you gotta stick with what you like. But never hurts to branch out. Six has always been my favorite, though. Like. I was talking to Zara about that this morning, because he was playing 14. We talked about the, uh... Aha! Get wrecked, mushroom fucker! Um, but he was... fucking mushrooms? Yeah. But, uh, he was playing... Oh my god, five? Um, he was playing 14 and he had the, uh, he was showing some of his mounts that he has. And I, uh, I was talking about how much I love the, the Magitek armor. Or for 100% retro achievements in Robotrek. Nice, nice, bud. But yeah, Final Fantasy VI has always been my favorite. I should play more modern Final Fantasies, though. I haven't... Like, I think, other than fourteen, the newest Final Fantasy that I've ever played is... Tactics? Yeah, I think so. There's a potion imaging here. I get it, I get it, all right. Ooh, this water monster has a lynx's face and copper horns. Fisher folk must ask permission before harvesting fish from its lake. Speaking of kitties, we're in the office a bunch today. Like, there's hardly anything on the floor now. It's pretty nice. Never pick up anything after they moved to PlayStation. I never had a PlayStation, so like when I played Tactics, I played with, at my cousin's house. Um, so, yeah. Well, that's cool. I found some stuff in here. Stuff is cool. I love stuff. Do-do, 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 do-do. I love that the uh, 
Oh, the resources respawned outside too. That's really nice. Oh yeah, and then there's this asshole. That's okay, cause I I still won. Nice. I'm going to make so many minor explosion potions when I get home. Like, at okay. least, at least five. Whoa. Yeah. There has to be a way for me to, like, jump or something later. Because I keep seeing these little gaps. But I don't have any way to get over them yet. Have you tried running at them? I can't. There's no run. I just... You can just walk. There is no run. Alright, let's go... Over here. What's that? Is that ivy? Yeah, it is. Keep on a trucking. Keep on a trucking. Well, that opened way down there. Can I get down that way? I guess so, yeah. I'm definitely a fire hazard. I don't have a fire potion yet, but I'm gonna. I see what it means, though, about like. Like, basically, like, you don't need to fight, you just need to. You know figure shit out, which makes a lot of sense. Like there's now always... thinking with portals. Oh, portals. Bridge Constructor Portal was such a fun game. That was a neat one. Speaking of games on Game Pass, I have something I'm playing next week. I will tell you all about. Also, um... So, I got a... Oh, no. No, no, no. Ow! Oh. You killed your friend. That's fine. Oh, no. Now you're locked in here with me. Ow. Stop it. Go away. Go away. There we go, that's better. It's a kitty! Look at the kitty! You like those. I love kitties! You were one earlier. It's true, I was. The ragged cat stares up at you imploringly, its ribs almost visible through its matted fur. Give the cat your chunk of- Well, obviously! The cat purrs deeply as if eagerly de as it eagerly devours the chunk of ham. Uh, the cat's now talking to me. Thank you, miss. Hunger truly is the best spice. That hit the spot perfectly. You can talk? Uh. It is rather surprising, I admit. Some say it's my most unfortunate skill. My name's Helios, and what brings... Oh my god! It's a magical kitty! Oh my god. 
I love a magical kitty. What brings you this deep into the forest, young one? I was sent to ask a favor from the woman that lives here. You're either very bold or awfully foolish, but as one good turn deserves another, I shall accompany you. Turn around and bow low, bothersome hut. This old, the old crone has a visitor. Sweet. Ow. Don't mind me, kitty cat. I'm just picking up some stuff. Just cleaning up. Just helping out. I love that there is like, I love that there are cauldrons like out and about so you can make potions while you're out and while you're all oot and a boot. And... The cat is actually my BFF now. Listen, that's all I, mean, I want. legally, yes. That's, that's literally all I want. Hmm. Wow, reject. First of all, how dare you? Second of all... Reverse! Reverse! Yeah, how do you like that? Sydney, Sydney, did you see Reba's sweetheart meal at the, uh... At the Sonic? Reba has her... Reba has a sweetheart meal for the Valentine's Day season. At the, uh... At the Sonic, and... Honestly... Is it more of those fucking cursed peanut butter hamburgers? No, it's a regular... It's a regular cheeseburger and tots and a chocolate-covered strawberry shake. It's lovely. It's Reba. Reba would never. Riku Kitty, welcome in. So, uh, Riku... Uh, uh... Riku's the dev. Um... Riku is actually... I oh, found... we love a dev. Yeah, so, uh... I found... I found... Like I was saying, I was scrolling through TikTok this morning and I saw like two of her uh, videos like in fairly uh, quick succession. And so I'm like, all right, this has to be a sign. So um, I went and checked out like the, the listing on Steam and I was really excited to um, add this to my list for tonight. So I wanted to get this in here so we could... Um, we could play it and so far this is really cute and I like I love that most of the combat can be solved in other ways that's really good Reba from Tremor Fritz Fritz Sydney you know what else was delicious the fucking maple bacon milkshake at Denny's during Baconalia Here to the guy from Family Ties Fritz Fritz. God damn it, Fritz. You mean Reba from the show Reba? <laughs> no, that's you know, you're thinking of you're thinking of someone else. Oh. <laughs> but I know we have to go do the pulled pork tots. I have to go try those. Hey Lolly, remember when we went to Baconalia? Mm hmm And I ate like seventeen things that day. Aw. That was a thing. Uh, <laughs> you mean fancy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, no, that's what we do here, Riku. That's what we do. That's, like, all we do here is we talk about, like, I play video games badly, and we talk about food. That's it. Those are the things that happen around here. Yeah. Now we make fun of him. And, oh, yeah, and these then, these are the chuckle fucks up here, and they make fun of me, and this is just... Yeah, we do do that. Boy, <laughs> yeah, you said, <laughs> said do do. do. <laughs> These are my these are these are basically my two best friends here and they're idiots. Uh, why is this service is more about us or you? Listen, Zunder yesterday sent me a TikTok that involved Costco hot dogs, so I was like, hey, I have a Costco membership. You want next time we want to go get food, you just want to go to Costco and get hot dogs? And I said, Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Listen, okay, it's not my fault that I have like I have the three, I have the three introverted Italians, okay? And they're all three my mods. That's not my fault. I don't That's know. That's actually exactly you, your this, fault. Who makes mods? You I've, literally made these decisions Okay. put us in this position. Tom, you told me that you would be my mod if I started all of this streaming bullshit. Lolly, yeah, but you still had to do it. Lolly, you, you were, <laughs> you were, you were COVID shot hungover and I, there was some shit going down, 
and I'm Viv you took advantage of the situation. And and Viv is just well, he's Viv. That's just the way it is. Shut up, Warner. Don't don't worry about it. We're playing a game. Oh my god. Sydney. Sydney. Sydney, come down here tomorrow. I will take you to Costco. I'm I don't even care. I mean, maybe not tomorrow cuz it's Valentine's Day and Bean and I are going to sushi. Although if you want to come during the day, we can just go to the Costco and get the hot dog and it will be fine. It is an all beef hot dog and a drink for a dollar 50. A dollar 50. One dollar and fifty cents. Hidden stop. That's your own bias. Done. Done, Sydney. I will buy you the hot dog. I will buy you two if you want. Or I'll buy you a hot dog and a slice oh. of pizza. I don't even care. I'll do both. We're getting, we're getting crazy in here. And the damn cookie. I will get the damn cookie gadget. I will absolutely do it. Hi, gadget. Welcome back. Poor Riku. Uh, I know. She's like, hey, thanks for playing my game, and now I've done nothing. I've done everything but play her game. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. I mean, you honestly, come here to you see got, me play you your game? The, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> you got the magic talking cat, so honestly, you've basically beaten the game at this point. <laughs> Lolly, that's what Sydney just said. That's going to be you someday, buddy. Whip up in my HRV for a hot dog. That's going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm, your I'm future. Hoping. I'm hoping. Oh, uh, Coven, we are. We were just talking oh, about hot back, dogs Kevin. again. <laughs> Somehow, mm -hmm. I love that. Like we were talking about cov or hot dogs. <laughs> Coven left, and then she comes back, and we're talking about hot dogs again. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, not still. It's just no, again. no, no, not still again. Your Costco sold the most cookies in the nation. That's. Okay, but hidden, like, you're from where Costco comes from. Like, Costco's are born there before the Costco stork drops them off at different places in the world. That's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it happens. There's just, like, a giant Kirkland signature stork that drops off a fully assembled Costco wherever they show up. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's a lot like a regular branded stork. Like, it's almost imperceptible, the difference. <laughs> I didn't say what they're the most the up there. Right I didn't say they're the most up there hidden. I said that's where they come from. Gosh. Nature is beautiful. Just as good as the name brand stork, but less money. <laughs> oh, God. And it's in bulk. Can't forget that. 55-gallon <laughs> drum of storks. <laughs> 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 There's Costco's breeding grounds. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Oh uh, no, Costco does not come. The it's not from Kirkland, California. It's Kirkland, Washington, is where the Kirkland signature comes from. That's where they sign the Kirkland signature on all of the Kirkland signature products. I know. I've been to Kirkland. Kirkland's a lot like Springfield in that way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Springfield. Oh, God. Comfort the servant. This was a topic servant. conversation in my home very recently. Here, I will comfort the servant. Take my handkerchief. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See? Riku gets it. Riku, you're up you're up near my promised land. I make it up to Seattle at least once every couple of years. Is your prime pit on your lab coat? People just look at it. <laughs> they just look. It's like, yeah, sorry. Oops. <laughs> oh. But Coven as as Lolly and I like to say very frequently to each other, Lolly. Women, though, am I right? Yes. See? Coven, you get it. You get it. Amy, you absolutely called it. You 100% called it. 
Who's new here? Get out while you still can. <laughs> no, that did not. No, that doesn't say Baby Yoda. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Every winter, the storefronts migrate north to share their hot dogs and reproduce before traveling back. They and when they come back, they bring the rotisserie chickens with them. That's how it works. You know, it rains all the time because it rains the rest of the time. It does. I will say though, like honestly, I'm in Florida, right? So it is sunny and hot most of the year here. And it rains during the summer, like five minutes a day, but it still rains, okay? Nothing like Seattle, but I love the rain. And so I enjoy when it does. Um, no, no, Gadget. No, no, no. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. And the humidity down here. His favorite. So bad. Um, His favorite is those blessed rains down in Africa, honestly. God damn it. Mm. Anyway, my point well, is... <clears throat> My point is, um, some of my favorite times of year is Seattle in, like, December, January. <laughs> like, not on snowy days, but, like, on, like, just those cold, damp days. I love those. And, like, I, I just, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, it speaks to my soul. That's, Sydney, that's, that's true and also fair. Those, yeah, that's also fair. 95% muggy until it turns cold. That's, yeah, see, reject, you get it too. It's just like all down here and there's just this like whole corner. It's just like, brr. Sydney, you got, y'all got all them bayous out there in Louisiana. Like, I mean, we got swamp here, but it's not the same, you know? It's not the same. We got swamp ass. So all the drivers come out and do the stupid. God. Cold, dark, misty, perfect for hot tea or mulled wine. Mm. Or hot chalky. I love a hot chalky. My god, I love a hot chalky. Polyamorous lesbian, so yeah, women. See? Coven? You get, Coven gets it. Coven gets it, Lolly. Coven gets it. <laughs> There's always someone by you. That's true. Uh, thank you ever so much, sweet thing. It's rare for a kind soul to venture into my domain. Who, who are you? Are you my grandmother's sister? I am called many things, but may, you may call me Baba Yaga. Sister to all and to none. You went to Duke for six years? Oh, well then you're fairly familiar with Tom's neck of the woods up there in old Raleigh. I live in the Raleigh. Mm-hmm. Or eat like six-year-olds. Not all of us eat like six-year-olds. Most of you degenerates eat like six-year-olds hidden. I just happen to really like hot dogs and eat them a lot. <clears throat> Pleased to meet you, Baba Yaga. My name is Luna. I was told you could help me craft an item of great power. I know who you are and what you seek, but my aid is never freely given. I shall provide you my broom, but I will need the materials to craft another. Thus, I have a task for you. A broom for cleaning? No, no, you silly girl. For flying. A hot seat. What did I say? What did I say? Enjoy French toast for dinner. Eat like six-year-olds. Okay, fine, Water. You ate like an eight-year-old for dinner. Ate like a 16-year-old. Nice. I can fire road off the panoramic highway. <laughs> no, like north of Asheville, Buncombe County. Tom, you've been up there for, what, about six years now? Seven years? No longer. Uh, eight. Is it eight now? God damn it. Oh, I guess, in 2016. I guess the pandemic started four years ago now, didn't it? Jesus Christ. The there was no pandemic. My pandemic. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to think about that, so I'm just going to pretend it never happened. That's fair. And it isn't still happening. Yeah. I make a savory French toast that's the bomb parm and garlic French toast with fresh herbs. Savory French toast. That. Everyone pack up the van. <laughs> <laughs> We're... All right. I'm... I'm, I'm, we're going to Seattle. I'll be back in a few hours. I don't know. Yeah, it's <clears> a few hours. Yeah, a few hours. <sighs> oh my God. Savory French toast. I, I've never had savory French toast. You're going to do just fine here, Riku. You're going to be just fine here. You have found your people. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I've already made several friends just by saying the word savory French toast. <laughs> Durham was fun. It was med school. There were a lot of few. <laughs> I wouldn't. I visited oh, Durham once. Durham is a, a nice little area. It's really pretty in that area. 
There were no survivors. Oh, uh, no. Basically, New York Carolina's mountains before moving across the state line. No. Oh. After I grant this boon to thee, you must gather the items three. First, a branch of willow bring, deepest shadow, brightest spring. Golden straw must next be one, the kind by fickle goblin spun. Then find dust from fairy's wings, from pixie's magic mushroom rings. Once these talismans you have gathered, mm, return to me and rings. hear my answer. For if these forces you can tame, a witch's bounty you shall claim. A flying broom will be very helpful. I'll gather these materials for you to replace it. Thank you. Toggle flying by pressing X. Careful though, it's as, it's easy to get knocked off. Cool. Boy, flying flying broom would have been helpful for you in the game where you were literally Hell's Janitor. Right? And Be like, hey broom, go clean that shit. Ow. Have you tried not doing that? No. <laughs> Riku, your game hurts under. Yeah. <laughs> Use room, get rid of cobwebs. Oh no, that was the last game I was playing, Reject, where I was the the cat janitor of hell. And I know that sounds <laughs> silly, but that's ex that's literally exactly. That's that's what you were. That's what I was. Thank you from Duke University Hospital, your second year resident. A residence because of COVID. Oh yeah. I can imagine that. And, um, I need. Good lord, I have a lot of mushrooms now. Oh, it can go up to. Oh shit! Oh, I have. N I only have nine. Okay, that's fair. Okay, I'm not gonna start this mission. <laughs> it sounds silly, but hear me out. It was. <laughs> That's fair. Yes, I would love to equip these. Equip these nuts? God damn it. <laughs> uh, ooh. Almost didn't notice that time down there. Nashville for a year. I, we've been talking about going to visit Nashville. I have been to Nashville two, three times now. Oh. Lovely place. Terrible drivers. Oh, so I can't do that. Hmm. Man, I haven't been out out in so long. That's a progression blocker for now. Okay, gotcha. Look at the chicken legs. Hi, Miss Vias. How are you? What you been up to? Welcome to Tennessee, where we have the nicest people until they get behind a steering wheel. As opposed to Florida, where we have the worst people, including when they're behind a steering wheel. Yeah, they just get progressively worse. Yeah. Oh, God, there's two of them. Yeah. My duck's in the way. Oh yeah, that's my poison gas one. Yeah, I get poisoned, mushroom. <clears throat> Just working and working. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm working to try to get more work. Been working on the consulting stuff. Get a big raise to move to Vermont. Oh, Vermont sounds lovely. You miss? Were you trapped in there? No, miss here. And trapped? Trapped? No, I don't believe I was. Place to rest. Old Haven isn't too far from here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. No miss. Uh, Riku, is this is this our first confirmed non-binary sighting in the game? Yes, perhaps. Yes. Love us a magic, literally a magical NB. I keep saying the fucking non-binaries are magical, but goddamn it, 
proof. My research marches, I shall venture there. Okay, bye. Is this a demo or is okay. this This is a demo. Or did you get a did you get a key? Oh. No, this is this is still the demo. It's not out for um Riku, what's the release date? Early March? You're targeting like I think it was like March fourth is what you said you're targeting. March seventh. Thank you. That tracks because like I said, this seems like really polished. Day before International Women's Day. I love that you specifically know that. That's fantastic. Also, I'm fucking here for it. Good target. You picked it because of it? Love it. Oh, also, I don't know if you were here when I was saying it, but you have a couple of characters in this game that I want to punch in the face, but that's I'm certain that that's by design. Yeah. I said that's just good game. That's just good character design, that's all. Your face is a good character design. Ooh, get wrecked. Wow. That's like oh, personal. I am so wrecked. You Look should. How wrecked I am. Kevin, we're glad to have you. Feel free to join us in the Discord. Nicely done, Tom. Thank you, sir. Yeah, there. Uh, we do yeah. other speakings there. Listen, Riku. It's a magical kitty that talks. Could you imagine being a magical kitty that doesn't talk? That's fair. But also... Be the first thing I used my magic for. I Yeah, I do, Riku, but I'm, I'm, I'm very much like... Wait, is it really already time? Yes. You just looked at the clock I didn't... five minutes ago. Well, I don't... And you were like, oh, I just looked at the clock. Us indicating you knew what time it was because one looked at a clock, which tells the time. I don't else. remember and... looking at the <laughs> clock, okay? I was doing stuff. Like, you called it out. I don't rem... Th do you know how long ago that was? Yes. Well, I don't. Like, exactly five minutes. I don't know. Have you tried knowing? No. Riku, I'm a sucker for going back and picking up resources. All right, but I guess I guess since I'm at time, I do have to. I probably should use my my stone of recall. All right, let's go back. Oh yeah, I want to craft all the potions. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff I have. Look at all of this stuff that I have. It's so much stuff. You have any stuff? Yeah, I'm making. Listen, I'm doing stuff with the mushrooms. A minor rock bomb, not to be confused with a rock lobster. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, look at that. I'm just making them. Ooh, I don't even know what this will make. What are we gonna? What are we gonna make? A minor wind bomb. See, I love it. <laughs> I'm a major wind bomb. Yes, you are, dear. I don't know. What, is, what does this make? What does it make? I don't know. Indiscernible ooze. Done. Uh, no, I don't want to. Yeah, indiscernible that. ooze. That wasn't a fart. Indiscernible ooze. <laughs> ooze. <laughs> we want to. Hey, look. Ha! Illusion, illusion, illusion. I already see so many. Okay. Is that like dubious food in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, or? Your dubious Is food. That just... right, I mean, I... yes. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. Ooh. Dang. <clears throat> Generally, only two types of mana fire, earth, water fire. Generally, get along for crafting your potions. Noom.
Do 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 do. Let's go through here. Hello, Amber. Hi, Amber. Wherever you are. She's a nurse tech. Nice. Ooh. Hello. All right. I think uh, I'm gonna go back in here and drop off my my materials, equipment. And there I can. Equipment. No, you're thinking of enchantment. Why walk when you can fly? See, Tani, you get it, buddy. Also, hi, Tani. All right, we. I gotta. I gotta be done. I don't want to be done. Remember when Tom uh, had to fly on a chair? Oh man. Oh, Tom, remember your flying chair? Mm-hmm. Oh, buddy. I have you... a flying bed too. Just whoosh. I was real good at the whooshing. Hmm. All right, this has been, this has been great. Uh, Riku, this is a really adorable. Uh, this is going on my list for sure. Um, I cannot wait for this to come out. There have been so many good demos this past Next Fest. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of just wild how many good ones there have been. Um, this has been a really fun time. All right, but that's it. We got to, we got to call it there. Um, we call it. But we're calling it a night, pal. We're done with next. I mean, fest. everyone calls it a night. That's what night does. Yeah, well, I was wearing that shirt yesterday. Who was wearing the shirt yesterday? Oh, well, it was nice of you to drop it off so Thunder could wear it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you have the Able Gamer shirt? Mm -hmm. I didn't know yeah. you had the shirt. Yeah, I'm wearing my uh, my my Able Gamers pride shirt. Um. Riku, thank you again. Thank you again for the game. Thank you for stopping by. Um, this was a lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, in case you missed the pin message, uh, this is this was Potions, A Curious Tale. Riku is the developer on it. Um, so go add it to your wish list on Steam. It's very, very, very good. Coming to a Steam near you March 7th. That's true. Coming to a Steam near you. It's already on my wish list, so. Um, okay, so Next Fest is like officially, officially over. Like from Steam and yeah, also me, I'm done. I'm we're done. So, I heard I, I heard that once before. Yeah, well, listen, shit, some shit happened and then I was on the TikToks and then you know how these things happen. Well, I warned you about those. I know, but then if I hadn't have been on the TikToks, then we would I wouldn't have found out about Riku's game, and she wouldn't have been here, and it wouldn't have been, you know, like, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. So, there you go. Look at my hot dog controller. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, It's fantastic all right let's see what a wienery controller you have there what a wienery controller i have indeed the real wiener if you know what i mean it's true it's i don't know true. what you mean please elaborate my controller does oh, have well, a first wiener name sounds a lot like winner you say you see uh -huh. so i'm i'm low-key suggesting that that controller is a winner but also calling it a wiener at the same time because it's also a wiener controller oh, and thus creating a humor yes well, as it, as it turns out, as it turns out, if you open the box for the controller, it in fact even says inside the box, it says wieners. So you can taste your victory with the wiener controller. Love you, Tawny. Mwah. Love you, buddy. My controller does in fact have two names. Ooh, I had Oscar, I have, I've had Oscar Meyer Baloney two days in a row now. I'm pretty sure. What was yesterday? Monday? Yes. Uh. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. Actually, who? I'm trying to think of. I want to go see some money we haven't seen in a while. 
Um, what do we got going on? What's going on over here? Let's go see. Let's go see Mickey. Mickey's playing. She's doing skull and bones. She's doing. She's doing hot pirate shit. So let's go see Mickey. Um, where's my? I have a thing for this. Hold on. Let Under me there. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say it. Under where? There he is. <laughs> there he is. Um. Fixing something real quick. What's this? Ah. Um, do I have to do that? I don't know that I have to. Hey, that that should work. Uh, that's that. Oh yeah. I think so. Pretty sure. All right. Um. Yeah, I just had to make sure a thing was not busted. Okay, we're gonna go raid Mickey. There are the raid messages. Let's go do. Uh, let's go do stuff and some things. Um, hey, also, yeah, don't uh, forget to jump in the Discord. Come hang out with us. Uh, we'd love to have you. Um, I will be back on Thursday. I'm starting Death Spank, thanks to our dear friend <laughs> Magra D. Um, it's so weird. I just, just Mags. Nope, not saying, not saying her full name again. That sounds weird. Anyway, um, starting that on, playing that on Thursday first. and Sunday. Um, oh, Play also, I got a review key, or I'm getting a review key um, for Bellatro, the 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 poker card game that we were playing uh, the other day. So um, very excited about that. Uh, I think this is the first review key I've ever gotten, so which is just wild to me. So I'll be playing that some next week. Um, but anyway, it, all that stuff will be in the Discord. Anyway, go join the Discord, grab the raid message. Let's go spam Mickey's chat with all the emotes and raid messages and love and all that stuff. I will see you on Thursday for Death Spank. Until then, as always, please remember, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll see you on Thursday. Uh, bye. Well, you gotta say the thing. Penis.